You're gonna step when it bounces, ready? Step, hit. Now hold, don't move. This is exactly how I want you to finish. It's all about the discipline of understanding each position. The hardest thing with kids in tennis is they don't feel successful because it's hard. Working with a foam ball in a rally gives her the success and the feeling of an elite player rallying on the court. The goal of our channel is to help kids play tennis all around the world with quality coaches. That's when you go like this, you go, come on! Can you say it? Come on! Come on! High five. This is gonna be your starting point right here, okay? You're gonna put your feet, one foot on this, one foot on this. Good, that's your starting spot. Where's zero? Good. Now, if I wanted you to hit forehands, I wanted you to run to here. How would we set up when we turn for a forehand? When I say one, zero, one. What happens to this arm on a forehand? We simplify it by calling ready position zero. We really train them to press their arms way out, way farther than you would probably have them because once you relax, now they're here. Versus if you train like this, then when you relax, you get even closer. This really creates space when they turn so they don't overrun the ball. So we have zero ready position. Then from here, one is the turn. So when we say one, they know to turn. Then we say go, they know to run. Then they get their feet set. Two is all about the, the drop and hit. So when the ball bounces, they're saying two as they hit the shot. And then we really try to get them to focus on freezing the finish, being able to have balance. Especially at this age, they tend to fall over. So really trying to get them to stick the finish at the end. The forehand has one hand, right? And then what does this arm do when it's only one hand on the racket? What do we do with the other hand? Spider-Man. Spider-Man. So you're going to pretend that you're shooting your web, right? Like that. So you're going to go zero. And then when I say one, you're going to set up here like this, right? Then when I say go, you're going to run all the way to here. Set your feet in the circles. Good. You're going to wait like this. Your toes are going to be this way. Then I'm going to drop a ball for you to hit right here. When I drop it, this foot steps onto the red. Pretend like you're stepping and then you're gonna swing and finish. Show me zero, now shuffle. That's gonna be our drill. Okay, zero, one. Oh, look at the Spider-Man arm right away. Go. Good feet, now toes always this way. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Boom, boom. When that ball bounces, you step here. Okay, ready, go. Oh, wow, can I do one thing now? When you finish, can you hold it here? Can you pretend that I'm, I have the powers to go freeze? and you're like this, and you have to hold. Can we try it again? So let's have you here like this, toes this way. Good, Spider-Man arm out, bottom of your grip. Good, excellent. Now I want you to hold your finish, okay, over your shoulder. Okay, you're gonna step when it bounces, ready? Step, hit. Now hold, don't move. This is exactly how I want you to finish. Hey parents, if you enjoy watching our videos, you should not forget to like. You see where your racket is? See how it's over here? That looks really good. Can I get a high five? Now back to zero. Shuffle. Very good. Very good. Okay, zero. Zero. Okay, push your arms out a little more. Yeah, there we go. One. Oh man, look at that. Go. Good, toes pointed this way. So you know how we're running? Yeah, just keep the toes in that same running position. Good, right here. Step, ready? Step, hit. Did you do it? And did you finish really well? High five. Zero. Shuffle. Go. Excellent. Okay. Good. Push your arms out. Good. Yeah, there we go. Okay. One. Go. Wait for the bounce. Eyes here. Wait for the bounce. Step. Hit. Freeze. The biggest thing for me is when they turn, it's hard for them to understand to turn the head. When I tell her to go, I'm letting her watch the ball so her head's here as she's running. Kind of learning how to watch the ball as they're moving. Zero. Zero. That was so good. Shuffle. Good job. What shot did we just learn? What was it called? Forehand. And how many hands are on your grip right now? One or two? One. Ah, so how many hands do we hold on a forehand? One. How many hands do we hold on a backhand? Good job. We're just gonna kind of tap it back and forth. I'll hit it to your forehand. So can you get in your one position? Spider-Man arm. Good. Right here. Oh yeah, I got it. Can you do it again? 
Oh my, over my head. <laughs> That's incredible. Over okay. my head. What is it called when you and I try to hit the ball over the net back and forth? Do you know what it's called? Rally. Rally. Can you say rally? Rally. So you're learning how to rally by hitting the ball back and forth with me. Good. Ready? You're going to tap it to me. Go. One, two, go. Three, four, go. Five. You rallied. Excellent. Let's do it again. Yeah, there we go. Eyes here. Eyes here. Yeah, one, two. Go, go, go. Three. Ha! Go. Forehand, forehand. Yes. Ready? Forehand again. Go. Yes. Oh, I got it. Oh, backhand. What a forehand. What? Backhand. <laughs> That's when you go like this. You go, come on. Can you say it? Come on. Come on. High five. That is the way to finish a lesson, Lizzie. So really simplifying everything at this age and making it super fun. Hope you like the video and like the video. Get it? <laughs>